guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you what I ended up packing for our seven night Alaska cruise, what I maybe wish I would have packed more of, and then what I think I would have been fine like leaving behind. If you're going somewhere where it tends to be a bit more rainy, chilly, but maybe also like warm the next day, I think this could be helpful, but ultimately I hope you guys enjoy. I actually did create a checklist before heading off on this trip that I ended up sharing with the ladies in the family since this was a big family trip. With my outfits, I approached them a little bit more casually because it's Alaska. By the way, I ended up using these packing cubes for the first time. Why have I been sleeping on these? I don't know. Amazing. But I thought it would be really fun to share with you guys what I ended up like not wearing and could have done without. So I didn't end up wearing this newer set of socks though. I probably could have, so I don't like regret bringing more of these. I think I'm actually wearing a black pair right now. I do think these are great. When you think Alaska, you automatically think you should pack a ton of warm socks, but um, especially on the ship, it ended up being warm. So I didn't want to wear warm socks every day. And I had, you know, shoes that worked better with these like no-show type of socks. I did pack one pair of shorts, but did not end up wearing them at all. I got a bunch of stuff from TJ Maxx. Do you guys do that? You just like go shopping for more clothes before you travel? I definitely do that. Oh, I brought tights just in case. I've been on ships that are chilly and it can also be a nice added layer. This was my mentality at the time when I was packing. And that's the same idea with these long johns that I brought, but didn't end up wearing is like if I just needed that extra layer of warmth. This was one of those tops that I thought I could wear for dinner. I also packed this one, but did not end up wearing. This was just another lightweight one. I'm really surprised that I didn't wear these pajama pants. I probably could have, because I packed at least like four or five pairs of pajama pants. I just didn't wear that. Oh, okay, you know what? Let's, let's talk about sweaters. So I really thought it might be colder on the ship, and so I wanted to <laughs> bring some like nicer or slightly dressier sweaters or sweatshirts. These are considered sweaters, right? Sweatshirts are more casual. Turtleneck style. Just would have been too warm. I would veer on the side of like bringing lighter layers or like even cardigans. Yeah, I wish I would have brought like maybe another cardigan or like a zip up hoodie. Just something that you can like throw on and off easily. I did bring some workout attire that I didn't end up wearing. I think maybe just two to three sets would have been enough. Like I have like these tops that you would wear over your sports bra. If I had worked out every single day, I probably would have ended up wearing these, but honestly, like, you end up getting a lot of steps just walking around the cruise ship. Brought this cover-up that I also got from TJ Maxx that I did not wear because I never ended up using the hot tub or going into any of the pools. They have like a solarium area where it feels warm. Like, they make it feel like it's summer, so you can just go in the pool, enjoy yourself, there are hot tubs. Like, you definitely have the opportunity to swim, even if it's cold outside, but I did bring two sets of bathing suits that I just didn't wear. Just thought I would show you the bathing suit that I bought recently, and it's really cute. It's like low back, too. This is starting to feel more like a haul of the things that I didn't end up wearing. Everything that was in that travel cube. Another thing that I bought and packed or just brought with me but didn't end up wearing were two baseball caps. I really thought like I'd wear them. Like I just thought like there would be days where I couldn't be bothered with my hair. I'm going to, the way I'm gonna approach this I think is I'm gonna like read through my checklist. Outerwear. I put one warm coat, one raincoat or poncho. So this was one of the coats or jackets that I wore. And I love this one because it's one of those where you can pack down and just put into your tote bag or something if needed, just as an additional layer. Love this. And I also brought a raincoat. I'm really glad that I ended up getting one. Definitely one with a hood. And what I even like about this one is that it is a longer one. If it was like a really windy day, I would wear this underneath this, and it was great. Falling within the outerwear, I brought beanie gloves. I mentioned the baseball cap, which I didn't end up wearing, so I would say that's optional, but if you're someone who just really enjoys wearing like hats and caps, yeah, bring it. I have scarf on here as optional. I didn't end up packing one, but I think, you know, you absolutely could.
Overall, it's good to have about three to four short sleeve tops for daytime. Oh yeah, so we also have these shirts that I ended up buying while I was in Alaska because they were like two for $13, something really like crazy affordable like that. One to two cardigans was what I listed here. Something that you can like throw on and off easily in place of like the nicer warm sweaters that I showed you earlier is what I would go for. I had one to two lightweight dressier tops, which is funny because I just didn't really end up wearing those, but I still thought it was nice to have the option. See, I put one to two dressier sweaters on here, but I think I would veer on the side of doing the lighter weight nice tops and then throwing like a cardigan or a light jacket or something over that if it ends up being a cold cruise ship. One to two casual long sleeve and or hoodie sweater. For bottoms, I put one to two pairs of jeans. I just brought this light wash pair that I wore at least like two or three times. If I wanted to go from daytime to evening pretty quickly, usually like darker bottoms, I just feel like lend itself nicer for that. I think I wore each of those at least twice. Evening wear. I really debated on whether to go more formal and like all out with these outfits, but in the end, I just, I wanted to be comfortable. So I kept it really simple, long sleeve knitted dress, which I just figured would be a good idea in case it was cold on the ship. And it wasn't. I did bring a clutch, which I thought was just kind of nice to like add a pop to the outfit since it's just a really simple black dress. This long, it's like a very summery maxi. Yeah, I would say at least two dresses. If you're not into dresses, it could be a skirt, it could be dress pants and a nice top. Okay, so I had a whole section for athletic wear. I definitely brought some sports bras. I brought, I think, only one pair of black leggings. I did, actually, no, I did pack one set as well, and I did wear the set with that black Alaska t-shirt over it. All right, shoes. Ended up packing five pairs of shoes and this was not excessive at all. It was a seven night cruise, but ended up actually being a nine day trip with travel and everything. So I brought one pair of flip flops. That was just in case I was gonna go swimming. Uh, but even then, like there were some days where I just wanted my feet to like not be enclosed <laughs> in a shoe. So I would just casually wear the flip-flops around the ship. So that was kind of nice too. So I would say like a pair of flip-flops or comfy sandals, I think is a good idea. I would also say comfy sneakers. I just brought these light gray, lightweight sneakers, which I ended up probably wearing those the most and it didn't really end up raining too much. So those are definitely a good option to have. Okay, so waterproof hiking shoes. This was one that was a little bit challenging for me because I didn't already own a pair. I tried on so many different shoes. I thought I was gonna buy one pair. I actually did end up buying one pair from Amazon, but they didn't work out. I'll show you just what that looks like here just in case you're curious. They're not it. I ended up going with these, comfort is key. So I tried on a bunch of like affordable hiking sneakers and shoes as well, and they just were not comfortable. So that's why I was like, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and invest in these. These are from Columbia. I like them. They even say waterproof on the back because they definitely are. Ideally, if I was just thinking about function and comfort, I would have rather have gone for not like a boot style because these are, as you can see, higher. But I just didn't find a pair that was comfortable enough for me um, on time. So I went with these. No regrets though. It's okay. If you can go for something a little less bulky, that's what I would recommend. Last but not least, dress shoes. I knew that I didn't want to pack like more than one pair of heels or something dressier and it needed to be a neutral pair of shoes and I thought these were it. They're just my Dolce Vita, you know, like sandal heels, block heels. I like these a lot. They're actually fairly comfortable too. Do I need to go into the sleep 
wear and underwear. I don't think so, but I'm going to read out to you guys like what I have down here and let you know if I would modify it at all. Five to six pairs of PJ or lounge bottoms, six to eight tees. I also put six to eight pairs of socks. I did wear most of my socks. So I would stick to that. Uh, I put 10 plus panties. If it's gonna be like a nine day trip, it doesn't hurt to have a pair for every day. And then the pair that you're already wearing traveling. Okay, as far as like toiletries go, of course this is gonna vary from person to person, but you don't wanna forget your toothbrush. Razor, if you're gonna shave, I definitely brought mine, brought some shaving cream. I also brought a little thing of my exfoliating face cleanser. SPF is a good one, especially if you're gonna be out and about quite a bit. The sunlight can be harsh. Okay, for accessories, I didn't bring a hand mirror and it's funny because I'm looking at my list and that was the first thing on my list <laughs> under accessories, but I forgot to bring a hand mirror. I think that would have been nice to have. Um, of course, hairbrush, if you wanna bring some type of hair tool. I brought my flat iron and that's really all I brought. I put umbrella on here, but I can't even recall if I did pack one. So I put one to two handbags and a tote bag. I think a tote bag, very, very useful because sometimes you just need to like put stuff in there. I also packed one of these. These are one of those like fitness belts that you can even wear like under your t-shirt or something. And this was really helpful to have because like you could put your room key in here. You could put your phone, ID, cash even that you just want to like keep close to you. And if you want it to be hands-free roaming around. I like having one of these belts and you know a fanny pack of course works in the same way but I would wear it across my body like this just so I could be hands free so I wore this at least a few times. This is cute actually I like this with this outfit. <laughs> okay so I put makeup bag but I actually brought two. I had two is because I had my carry-on luggage and also the suitcase that I ended up checking in. If I ever just needed makeup to just be able to touch up my face really quickly but I didn't need to like do the whole look uh, I would just pack a lighter bag and then leave the rest in my suitcase. Should we talk about beauty a little bit? Yeah, why not, right? I just love like mini eyeshadow palettes in general, but for travel, it's like especially convenient. So I did bring this Naked Urban Decay half-baked palette and I really did enjoy it. I've been wearing this so much, so I just thought I would shout that one out. Sunnies. I didn't really need my sunnies. I probably could have left those behind, but I ended up packing two. And of course, jewelry. Separated some of my jewelry into different little pouches. Okay, for electronics, when I was like researching what to pack for this trip, a lot of sources suggested binoculars. Maybe if you want to spend on one, maybe like don't spend too much. Unless like you're really just into having a good pair of binoculars. Matt is, so he invested in a set. And I mean, they're nice, but I just didn't find myself using them often or really needing to. Laptop, that's also optional. You may, you may or may not end up really using it. You can pay for Wi-Fi on the ship, but we didn't, which is nice. It's nice to disconnect all the chargers. A charging block could be helpful if you're not going to like be coming back to your room often enough to charge your stuff. Earbuds, camera, tripod, and mini. This was all like stuff that I knew that I wanted to bring for myself. So yeah. And then of course, don't forget your passport, vaccine card, and negative COVID test result because this was all required before getting onto the ship. That's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.